Carmen, though extremely unsuccessful at its premiere in 1875, so much so uh, that Bizet died three months later, uh, pretty upset, uh, it has now become one of the most popular operas in the repertoire. It contains all the elements for a great evening, a great plot, fantastic melodies, uh, a wonderful uh, choruses and lots of dancing and Spanish music which is very evocative. So one of these attractive elements is the Spanish influence, the Moorish sound which to us is very Middle Eastern and you hear that very clearly at the beginning of Act 4 where we have the entr'acte for the orchestral music and that is uh, typical Spanish castanets, guitars, all the elements of that which uh, the composers of that period loved. This was an age at the end of the 19th century when people could travel by rail, steam and boats and trains and people enjoy traveling and seeing mysterious countries such as Spain full of mystique, danger and it was a very exciting moment in uh, the, the love of art and music. Bizet didn't travel that much, but he saw it through paintings of Degas and Manet, and he was inspired to write this music based on that dangerous feeling. He would have heard lots of Spanish music, and he used this certain amount of dances, called, uh, like the Havaniera, the Segadilla, and uses them for the arias of Carmen, who was a very um, uh, unusual character for opera of that period, and quite shocking. She's a harlot, she's a gypsy, she's very sexual in her uh, activity and not um, dependent on anybody and not loyal to anybody. And that was a pretty unusual, radical thing to put on the stage and was quite shocking. The Habanera, which is the first aria that Carmen sings to introduce herself, uh, actually came from Cuba originally and so it's based on that kind of music from uh, more dark, and uh, has a element of um, exotic side. Segadia, which is another uh, dance in 3-8 time, uh, means to follow and it's used by Carmen when she wants to encourage Don Jose to follow her to this dodgy bar at the end of Seville called Lila's Pastia and so to entice him to come she sings this uh, incredible exotic music again. <laughs> At the beginning of the second act, we have some real dancing. Uh, the flamenco, which most people know from visiting Spain. It's a very much a tourist idea now, but it was a, a part of the club activity in, inside Seville and Madrid and Barcelona. And here we hear this music which starts quite slowly, understated, and then it gets faster and faster. So soon after this, we have the Torridor song. The Torridor arrives to sell his tickets for his bullfight. And again, you hear this most incredible Spanish music, uh, which everyone loves. So this masterpiece of Bizet probably has more famous melodies than any other opera that one hears in the house. And uh, so we hope everyone enjoys it. <laughs>